All right, guys. Uh, I'm here with Shades at, uh, Shades at Night. Hello. And uh, we are here to discuss a subject that um, pretty much a few days ago I saw this on Comic Vine, and they pretty much talked about when is a character ruined and what ruins a character for you know for someone. Uh, and I was talking to Shades, and I was like, uh, you probably have a lot, a few characters that you believe are ruined by. You know, our respected, um, such respected companies as Marvel and DC. Let's talk about it. So, uh, Shades, when do you think is a character ruined for you? Um, I'm not sh sure if a character will, uh, sorry, I can hear myself on the other end. <laughs> okay, now it's gone. Cool. Um, I'm not sure if a character will ever be forever ruined for me. Um, I can still read stories from the past and still enjoy them, um, but there's definitely times when, you know, I, I'm like, okay, I'm not re reading this character into the future anymore. Like, moving forward, I'm done with this character because it's ruined. Um, so there's that difference. Um, I can still enjoy a character ignoring what happens in the future, but um, I don't know. I look at characters like Spider-Man in One More Day and some people don't think that he's ruined in that, okay, uh, you're wrong, but whatever. He's definitely tainted, though. Like, it's it's not... I don't know, I, I feel sorry for people who are huge Spider-Man fans who, you know, read that book after that, because I imagine that it would just be somewhat of a painful experience knowing that, you know, I've read all of these stories that are now... You know, they happen, but we're just... Every, the characters that I'm currently reading aren't meant to remember them. That's kind of dumb. And... I don't know. I, I'm not sure what defines a character being ruined, but as far as examples go, I, I think that's the epitome of them. Yeah. Um, there are, like, a lot of points where a lot of fans, even myself, will go, wow, that just completely hurt the character, didn't it? Like... Like you said, One More Day is a pri very prime example. Um, but this has been going on for such long times. Like, um, a few other examples I can give you, like when people thought a character was ruined, was when Superman had energy powers. Yeah. Um, a lot of people didn't like that idea. I, I, I've only read back, back issues of it. It's, it's nothing to be desired, but I didn't outright hate it. Um, yeah, I've never read it. So. Yeah. Um, when Nightfall came around and they made Jean-Paul Valley uh, Batman, there were people like, oh, this sucks so bad. Really? I don't see the problem here. It's just a darker Batman. I mean, the armor... I, li I like the armor. It's very retro, very something different. But I can see where people are coming from in, in regards to just... Because there were people out there who just hated the armor. Well, I mean, I don't hate the armor, but he's... You know, Batman's the Dark Knight and we've got this character running around in blue and yellow. It's not... It's not very discreet. Yeah, and it doesn't help that he's completely insane. Yeah, that too. Yeah. Um, that, in, like, uh... That and among other things, like, um... People, when character... When people say characters are ruined, it usually is something like a big event, like, again, One More Day, or, you know, if some people, the New 52... Uh, where characters are completely shot... Uh, a lot of characters are completely shot in the foot. The New 52 is another thing where characters are just, are just tainted. There are good stories being told, but they, you kind of, in the back of your mind, are like, yeah, uh, they... You know, some of these stories still could have been told without having to reboot the entire continuity. Um, and... I don't know. Um, the New 52 is this weird thing where stuff is in continuity and other stuff isn't, and to the now to the point where I'm confused to what we're actually meant to remember now. Yeah, exactly. Like there, like that can be a good. Like some people will say that entire universe is ruined now at this point, and yeah. I have no problem with uh, agreeing with them. There, uh, there are book. There are good books in the D in DC Comics now. But like you said, what at what point did they think this could not, these stories could not be told or even new books could be told could be released with the you know where they just, like i vampire you could have released it in the same continuity 
It felt like... That book, like, when I read that, that felt like you could have released that without the universe being rebooted. Same with Frankenstein. Um, and if, several other books. There was really no need to reboot the universe other than money. Yeah, and, I, you know, because I'm, I'm really only reading the Batman stuff from the New 52. Like, I don't read anything else. I'm reading Batman, Nightwing, and Dark Knight. And um, all of those stories... Well, maybe not so much what they're doing now with the Joker, but Nightwing, up to this point, definitely could have been told, you know, in the continuity that existed pre-New 52. Um, Dark Knight definitely could have... Uh, you know, they could have done the Court of Owls and all that stuff without having to reboot the universe. Well, that's the thing. Scott Snyder, that was a Detective comic story that he had planned um, before yeah, the reboot. Yeah, and... Yeah, and his Detective Comics run was amazing. Um, uh, yeah. I don't... I don't know, like I said, these characters aren't ruined for me, but it's definitely... Tainted is the word that I have for it, because I'm like, yeah, these are good stories, and, I, and I'm still liking these characters, but... I don't know. It's still... Did we have to do the reboot? I don't know why they couldn't do what Marvel did a decade ago with the Ultimate Universe. Like, if they were so gung-ho starting a new continuity where, you know, they, they want the characters to be the same and certain characters to be the same and other characters to be very different, and they want a universe where Superman and Lois Lane aren't together and Superman's banging Wonder Woman instead, like, then set up a different continuity. Why did we have to renumber Detective Comics? Yeah, um, that's that's the thing, and the other, it, and among other things, um, it's not just Marvel and DC. I mean, there are other um, other companies out there that have fans that are like this character's ruined for me. Like, uh, there are a few Spawn fans who, when I don't, I know you don't read a lot of Spawn, Kirk, but I'll I'm bringing this out as an example. Um, when Al Simmons uh, committed suicide and they killed off that character for good. Um, and brought in a new guy. A lot of people dropped the book, but I've also heard there nothing but good things about the new Spawn comic. Um, I don't not read uh, a lot of Spawn. I don't read any Spawn. <laughs> well, like I said, I knew you weren't going to get that, but I was just using it as a reference to outside okay. of Marvel and DC. Yeah, I'm just joking. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I understand that. I When it's this character that people have kind of you know, grown up loving, and it's like, here's this new guy. It, I don't know. That's kind of weird. Yeah, and I can't, like, there are some people, like, the other time when, you know, uh, Dick Grayson became Batman, I was completely okay with it. I figured there was no one better um, to take up that mantle after Final Crisis. Um, but there were people like, oh, Dick Grayson and Batman have been ruined for me at the same time, and I'm like, why? It, yeah. It's logical. I was, you know, to each their own, but I am... I was really ticked at the amount of people who were going, Dick's not Batman, and I'm I'm not reading Batman anymore. It's like, well, could you just wait a second? Like, you know, Batman is quote-unquote dead, so what do you expect to happen in this situation? And Dick is the perfect guy for the job. I really like Dick Grayson as Batman. I didn't read... Um, I actually didn't read Batman or Batman and Robin much during that time I really only read Detective because that was a fantastic book um, and you know me being a big Dick Grayson fan I really like Dick Grayson as Batman um, I would never say that either of those characters are ruined based on that and when you know that, that when, when you know that Bruce Wayne's inevitably going to come back anyway I yeah. don't know just and that's kind of the thing. Like when characters are killed off, um, that's another thing. Like, oh well, when someone gets when a character gets replaced, it's not going to last forever. It's like I hear some people say, "I don't like Emma Frost because she's replacing," or at least people were saying that. Um, I completely disagree because Jean plays a very different role to the X Men or in the X Men than what Emma Frost did. And she plays a different role in Cyclops... And Emma plays a different role in Cyclops' life than Jean did. Um, and I'm one, I'm one of the people who's a big Jean Grey fan, and 
Scott and Jean, you know, I recognize the fact that Jean was Scott's true love, and I still really like Emma Frost. Um, I don't know. When we say characters are ruined, I'd like to think that you can, that they can be redeemed, but there are definitely certain examples, I can't think of any apart from Spidey right now, but maybe you, maybe you have some, that, I don't know, I feel like characters have the ability to be redeemed, and it's just like, that should happen. Ignore that. Um, or, you know, you and I, before we started this, before we started recording, we're talking about with one more day, we would have, you would have kept, uh, you would have kept Aunt May, you know, getting shot and killed. Yeah. Um, and, well, actually, you know, we're talking more about uh, uh, Spider Man's identity being revealed. Like, if Marvel decided, well, maybe we shouldn't have done that, no, you don't just have it magically, you know, reverse you then find a way to tell stories that incorporate that um you can't just do something then be like well we shouldn't have done that so let's retcon it i i hate that mentality yeah and there there could have been ways you could have retconned it and smarter ways if you were really that set on well we probably shouldn't have had spider-man's identity known to everyone there were smarter ways other than Yes, I know Joe Quesada at the time was like, oh, let's get rid of Peter Parker and Mary Jane's marriage. But at the same time, you could have, again, you could have done that smarter than Mephisto going, I want your marriage. Why? Uh, that's not sense to me. What kind of devil wants, a, you know, someone's marriage? I sold my marriage to the devil. Okay. For most men, that would probably be a godsend. No pun intended. Very unhappy man. <laughs> I would never do that to my wife. <laughs> uh, you haven't seen the people I used to go to high school with and the people they married out of high school. They'd probably take that offer. <laughs> you know, I am basically the same age. Um, yeah, those people probably shouldn't have got so early. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, uh, so comics. <laughs> yeah, back to what we were actually talking about. <laughs> Apologies. Um, but I think the biggest character that recently a lot of people feel have been ruined, it has been ruined, excuse me, has been ruined, is the one you're closest to. And I will let, I will just take the leash off and back away. I mean, I really love the spot. I don't know why people think he's ruined, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, by the way, I bought Spectacular Spider Man issue 97, the first appearance of the spot today. Awesome. I'll own it. I'm very happy. Um, but, uh, yeah, when, with Cyclops, um, I definitely don't think he's been ruined, and I think people need to give this story a chance. Um, you know, people who will... People, there are big, big Cyclops fans saying, what have you done to him? It's like, well, just hold on. Wait to see what they do first before you just get gung-ho about it. I made that mistake when I hadn't read... Avengers vs. X-Men, and I just saw people released it early, um, I just saw the image of Cyclops killing Xavier, and I was like, what? How can Scott ever be redeemed after that? And, you know, then I, I realized I was wrong for judging it so quickly, and I've, I've been wrong a lot of times when I judge things, you know, when I judge a book by its cover. That's kind of what the X-Men is all about, as well. Like, you know, uh, when they deal with, um, you know, hatred and bigotry and discrimination, like, that's kind of what the X-Men is, not judging a book by its cover. And I just kind of did that with that story, and I realized I was wrong. And people give things a chance. It's like that with movies, you know, when people see trailers or just pitch it. Okay, the perfect... And I guess this is going a little bit off topic, but when Anne Hathaway was cast as Catwoman, and people were like, oh, that's a terrible idea. She's the Disney princess. And then that first image came out, and they're like, oh, look at her. She looks terrible. And then the movie comes out, and everyone's like, she was the best thing in the movie. Um, you know, same with Heath Ledger. Like, oh, the, the gay cowboys playing the Joker. You know, and th people need to step back with Cyclops and just wait to see what happens. And I'm not saying what they'll do will be great. I, don't, I have no idea. 
But that's the thing. I have no idea, so I can't judge it yet. I will say